Hello guys, so here and I'm back again. I believe you liked the very first video we did on our auditing tools. This is the second video and this time around we are on ISO 9001. Alright, so this is an audit tool for conducting audit on quality management system in accordance with ISO 9001 standard. And as I earlier mentioned, all our auditing tools follow the same structure. Alright, so this one is similar to the first video that notwithstanding i'll just get straight into it so we have the table of contents similar to the very first one where all the sheets are in there and we hyperlink them for easy navigation and over here which is the approved list we have the list of all the root causes all right so this is strictly for quality management system so we have root causes like lack of scope for the quality management system lack of organizational knowledge, lack of leadership and commitment. So basically, given the fact that ISO standard follows the higher level structure, some of the key, um, terminologies are likely to be the same, except a few ones which are strictly for quality management. All right, so you have the option to add on. Now, in terms of action priority, you have high, medium and low, and an action status, you have open and close. And this is an important input for the NC, COPPA and action plan sheet, all right? Now over here is the audit scoring criteria, right? So with this criteria, it follows the standard audit findings such as compliance, opportunity for improvement, minor non-conformance, major non-conformance, and their definitions and the actions that you need to take. Now this is the main audit checklist, and this is based on all the questions that are relevant, you know, to the ISO 9001 standards. So they've been extracted and populated accordingly. Now here we have the plus numbers. Over here we have the main pluses and then we have the audit questions. Okay, well organized according to the clause, the sub clause, and the relevant questions. And they've all been referenced accordingly. All right, now if you wanna review this, you can grab the password over here and then you can open up the sheet by going to the review tab on protect the sheet. You enter the password and you can have access to do further review. Now over here is dedicated for those who want to take a deep dive and provide some sort of expectations in the form of documented information. And over here we have the audit findings where you provide responses to the various questions by denoting X. And up here they've all been, you know, these are all based on calculations such that as you provide the responses, they automatically calculate. All right now here we have the audit findings and these are the you know sorry the audit evidence and these are all the evidences that justifies whether as per the question it was compliant or it was a non-conformance and then we have opportunities for improvement which you can provide in there now all these plays are based on calculations because they have formulas in there and they help in calculating the percentage levels of compliance for the various clauses and sub clauses all right now over here is the audit summary that provides a summary of all the various clauses and the sums, summation or the sums of audit findings and they've all been populated in here. 
So this sheet is pre-designed to just for information purpose, and you don't have you don't have to change anything here. So this sheet actually is the source data for the dashboard and all the other reports. All right. Now we have the NC Kappa and Action Plan sh sheet, and this sheet populates automatically as you register any non-conformance, whether major or minor. They populate automatically according to reference number, audit questions, main main clauses, and the sub clauses. And then you would have to take your time to provide, you know, the root cause and then the corrective and preventive action. You assign a person responsible, you set a date, and then you can have, you can then assign the priority to it and then the, whether action is open or closed. Now, as you provide, you know, the target date automatically, and then if the action is opened, all right, if the action is opened, If the action is opened automatically to calculate the next days that is due for the action to be closed i mean the days due for action to be closed you know and basically does it right and here we have the audit report so there's a template that we provided for users to utilize in preparing their audit reports in case you don't have any specific you know template to use Next is a dashboard. Now, this is the most exciting part of the template because you're able to tell the performance of the organization at a glance. So here we have the total number of audit questions within the, the template, and we have you know the the number of um, questions that are in compliance, the number that the number of major NC, minor NC, and OFI, and over here we have the percentage levels of compliance for all those clauses from context to improvement. And we have the sum of audit findings according to the various clauses as they show here, all right, basically. Let me just highlight it properly so that you can see. Perfect, there you have it, all right. And here we have the overall audit score that shows the performance of the organization. So you, we have the slicer there that you can use just to view various you know sections of of the of the report now here we have the various levels of compliance which are basically tables and graphs which we used to create a dashboard and then here we have the various sub clauses with their reference numbers and they are arranged chronologically from 4.1 all the way to 10.3 and then we have the various levels of compliance and then here we have the audits you know the action status actually which is coming from the non-conformance campaign action plan sheet so over here we have two actions that are closed all right so over here i should see the same thing so basically if i click on refresh or oh, all right that's it right there so we have two actions that are closed so this sheet is very, very simple to use in order to use this to First and foremost, you need to make sure that I get rid of all the data. So without wasting time, let me get, let me quickly do that. So right now that we are done deleting our audit findings or the responses what we need to do next is that we go to the data tab on the menu and then we click on refresh all but i just want to do that on the dashboard so when i click on refresh all you realize everything within the workbook you know vanishes as you can see everything is gone except this because this one is coming from the non-conformance copy action plan sheet now we have some data in there so what we need to do now is that we take our time to get rid of all these ones. All right. 
and then once we are done we make sure that we click on refresh all oh, we have a lot more in there so i need to get rid of it perfect so now everything is gone which clearly means the worksheet is now or the workbook is now ready for our own data so based on you know the audit questions as you you respond to them you do need you do need the responses with X and then they get populated on the you know the action plan sheet and then you take a time to provide you know the root causes you provide a corrective action All right and then you make sure that you provide person responsible and then you set the target date for closing the action and then you assign a priority to it All right so there you have it and then when we are done with the audit we click on refresh all all right and then you realize that they begin to update so this is a very interesting tool let me quickly bring back all the data that we deleted So now we have our data back. I just click on refresh all to make sure that everything updates and then we are back to where we started. All right, so guys, this is a very interesting template. This is strictly for ISO 9001 quality management system. Um, if it's, this is something that you're interested in, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much for your attention.